Now, now can I have that drink? Not yes. until you finish your story, Charlie. You have to tell us about General Fremont. Right, let me see, where was I? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, well, that was the time that me and the general come through here together. That was in the summer of 47. As a matter of fact, it wouldn't have been no Virginia City if it hadn't been for me and the general. <laughs> I told you to shut up your line, didn't I? I ain't lying. You are lying. I, I ain't just, you? Uh, ain't yes, you? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Now, wait a minute, mister. <laughs> old Charlie here don't mean any harm. He's just an old man hanging around the saloon. <laughs> We'd like to hear his stories. Well, I don't like to hear them. Now, did anybody ask you to put in your two bits worth? I tell you, I did stop with General Fremont. I tell you, I did. Why should you leave me be? All right, old man. Let it go. Give me a knife. What you aiming to do? Well, now, anybody that's fought as many Indians as you claim you have ought to have a few scars, shouldn't he? Oh, no. Suppose we just scratch off some of this beard and... Ouch! <laughs> So we can. Oh, but I come on, man, we're just gonna carry the cake out of you. People! Fremont Expedition, 1847. Presented to Charles Trent, Chief Scout, for services above and beyond the line of duty. <laughs> Charlie, you, you wouldn't want to lose that. I got in town. All I've seen to do is to cause you trouble. Charlie, you promised me solemn you wasn't going back in that saloon again. Well, I, I didn't mean to. Just them fellas wanted to hear some of my stories, that's all. Yeah, for a couple of drinks. I guess. I guess you won't give me another chance, will you? Dad, Bernie, Charlie, how many chances are you going to have to have? I talked Paul into giving you a job on the ranch, and what do you do? The first payday you take off, and we don't see you again for a week, and you come back drunk. That was, that was a mistake, Hort. Charlie, it's that way with every job you got around here. Ain't nobody around here gonna give you a chance now. I, I guess you're right, but I ain't gonna bother you no more. I can promise you that much. Cause I'm, I'm gonna take up scouting again. <laughs> but General Fremont, he'll be sending for me any time now, today, tomorrow for sure. Charlie, I, I wouldn't count on it too much. General Fremont's a busy man. War talk and all. Oh, I know, I know. He, he wouldn't go back on me. You see, him and me, we crossed the Great Salt Flat together. I better. Better go fix up a little, though, I guess. Charlie, it just ain't no use. I... I done made up my mind what I'm gonna do with you. What? Well, I'm... I'm gonna go in there and get some money, and I'm gonna... 
I'm going to fix you all up nice and clean. I'm going to put you on the first stagecoach out of here for San Francisco. That's mighty kind of you, boss. I, I appreciate it. But I can't go to no big city. I belong out here. I got to stay here. Charlie, I, I've been all wrong about maybe you getting a new chance here. It's... The big city's the only place for you. I... You stay right here. Don't you go no place here. Hoss! Hold on, Cutter. Where are you going? I had a couple friends of mine was passing through. Thought I'd talk to them, is all. Well, I have a strict schedule on this mission. You'll be back here and ready to lead out in one half hour. <laughs> Cutter? Captain. I think it's about time you and me had us an understanding. Now, I've been loaning it through this territory for a goodly time, and I ain't never taken no orders yet. Not from a savage and not from no soldier boy. You sign an army contract to scout trail. You're going to fulfill it into the letter, or you'll be relieved. Why, mister, you've got about as much chance of crossing that desert without me as a blind hootie bat has of reaching the sun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, carry on, man. Captain, Captain, I know that whole desert. I mapped out the first trail of Salt Lake City. I know the whereabouts of every water hole. Yeah, well, I, I can't sign on anybody just because they claim to be a scout. Oh, you, you, you don't believe me, huh? Yeah, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Fremont expedition. Yeah, and you can read what's written on the other side, too. Presented to Charles Trent, chief scout for services... Trent. Yeah. Are you the same Trent that scouted for the border expedition against the Apaches? Yeah, that was back in... back in 53. I wouldn't have known you. I mean, it's been so long. Of course, you wouldn't remember me. I was just a shave tail, but... That was my first assignment. I guess it would have been my last if you hadn't let us out of that Apache trap. Charlie Trent. Uh, you'll give me a chance, then? Not Charlie. That gold shipment's vital. Maybe with a war coming on. You've got a scout. Perhaps next time I make a trip, Charlie. Captain? That old bum's pretty drunk, thinking he can scout for you, sir. Corporal, that old bum was the finest scout in the United States Army. Whatever I know about this territory, I learned from him. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. I am, too. Here's a bottle. Give old Buzzard Bait a drink here, too. <laughs> Wake up. The man's buying you a drink. Tell you about the time I led the expedition up the Columbia River. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me, Charlie. Come on, let's go down to the stable and you can clean it off. I tried. I was honest. Honest, I tried hard. You asked some soldier boys if I didn't. That captain, he just didn't want me. Joe, give me a cup of coffee and a sandwich. Making no friends with none of us, Cutter. Where you treating the captain? Ah. I told you to be back and ready in half an hour. 
Seems to me I do remember you saying something like that. Well, don't you mind now. I'll be along a little while. Barkeep! Set my friend the captain here up a drink. The last man that grabbed me like that was the Blackfoot chief. I cut his liver out. A man don't live long without a liver, Captain. That's a pure medical fact. I'm giving you a direct order. Get outside and join the detail. Now. Oh, what? Oh, you're through. Well, now, that don't seem so likely, mister. You need a scout, and I'm the only one there is. You're a long way from being indispensable, Cutter. There's a man knows the wasteland country better than you or any scout alive. Charlie Trent. Trent? <laughs> Where are you going to find him? Charlie? That? Charlie Trent? <laughs> the great Charlie Trent, huh? Remington Massacre. You remember Charlie? He led them soldier boys right into an ambush. Right smack dab up to where them engines was waiting. <laughs> He's just the kind of a scout you need, Captain. <laughs> Collect your gear from the wagon and clear out. Take along plenty of water, soldier boy. Plenty of water. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie, you asked me for a chance. This is it. Now, don't give me any cause to regret it. We'll provide you with your mount and your gear. Get anything else you need. We'll move out as soon as you're ready. Well? Captain. Captain, I... He'll do it, Captain. Uh, Charlie! Captain. My name's Cartwright. I'm a friend of old Charlie's. I'll see to it he's ready to go in no time. We rode together. Captain. Let him ride with you again. I have much choice. Thank you, sir. I'll get him. Charlie. Charlie. I've been looking all over this town. You, the captain's down there waiting for you. You've got to get your gear and... Leave me alone, please, sir. Please leave me alone. Just go... Go tell that captain man you couldn't find me, that's all. Charlie. He's offering you the chance you've been waiting for. If it was just me, I, I wouldn't mind. But you see, it's, it's Pender and all his men depending on me. I... Charlie. You led the first map party across that desert. The first white man that ever crossed it. Now, if you can do that, you can leave Bender and his men now. Or, or was that just uh, one of your lies about leading that map party? No, because that was true, horse. That was true. All right, then. Now, Charlie, you listen to me, and you listen real good. If you let Captain Pender and those men go out across that desert without somebody to scout the trail for them, you are going to be a coward and a murderer. Charlie, you got to do it. If you... If you help me, if you come with me... Charlie, I... Just like, just like, you, just like you said yourself, this is the chance I've been waiting for. Will you please help me? Will you please come with me? Yes, sir. I'll go with you. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, I... Well, goodbye, Captain, and good luck. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Big tail. Forward. Forward. Ha! Oh! <laughs> 
Hey, Charlie. This time, don't go letting them engines get your scalp. <laughs> Stand there laughing like you're just saying something great, Cutter. But all you've done was to mess up things real good. It's working out just the way I want it, Buck. And how do you make that? We had a plan, a plan to get the gold, now we've got nothing. I changed plans for a better one. We still get the gold. Maybe you'd better tell us what you got in mind. The way it works out now, I don't have to explain me surviving. They get lost. Sand covers everything. Ain't a trace of nothing left. And everybody figures it's old Charlie Trent let them raw. You were going to lead them soldiers out into the desert. What if this Charlie takes them another way? Them renegade bands down south would like nothing better than to get their hands on that gold. Cheyenne on the war path up north. They got nowhere to go but across that desert. With us following them. Looking for something, Charlie? Oh. Oh, no, no, I wasn't looking for nothing. I just, just looking. A bottle? One bottle. <laughs> you ain't gonna find it. Of course. Of course, that was all I had. I, I didn't want to drink it. I, was, I just wanted to know it was here, that's all. I... I wasn't aiming to drink a drop of it. I, I, I promise, it cost my heart. I poured it out this morning, Charlie. I, I can't make it without a drink, cause. Cause I can't make it. Charlie. You done made it almost a week now, just on a pint. Yeah, what we've come through is nothing. Like taking a walk down a boulevard on a bright, sunshiny day. You wait till we get across that uh, mountain and hit the great salt flats. A man, a man's got to have something in his insides when he tackles that desert. And you done took and poured my insides right out on the ground. Charlie, you're just going to have to grow some new ones. Because if you don't take us across that desert, we're all going to die and rot out there. I'll, I'll try, Hoyt. Honest, I'll, I'll try. Here. You drink your coffee in, quit worrying. You're gonna make it. Hi. <laughs> My. There they be. Getting ready to bed down like nice soldier boys. Come dark, we're gonna ride. From here on out, we stay ahead of them. What's our line of march? Uh, due east. Yep. 
You see, once you hit that dirt desert, there ain't no landmarks to guide you. You have to kind of, kind of sense things, you know, kind of, kind of feel your way along. Charlie, Charlie, that's what we're depending on you for. To take us to that first water hole in a two-day march, and then after that, you'll have to lead us to the next water hole, then on to the last one. Can you do all that, Charlie? I tell you what, I've been, I've been, I've been thinking it over, and I reckon it might be our best bet to head due north, you see, and that way we can circle the desert entirely, you see. With Yellow Star and the whole Cheyenne Nation on a warpath? Look, I didn't bring you along to tell me how to get us all killed. We have to cross that desert. Now, you signed on as a scout to lead us over it. Now, can you do it? Me and the horse will lead out. Prepare to move. Prepare to march. Forward! Forward! Out! You ever see the Zunis hunt fox? Oh. Well, they just let them keep on running till their tongues are all swole up and hanging out. Then they walk up to them real peaceful like and club them to death. <laughs> yes, sir, we're gonna let those soldier boys just ride on a piece. Far enough so there ain't no way back. being out on the ocean, ain't it? The only difference is that we're looking for water instead of land. You got your bearing yet, Charlie? You don't, you don't reckon we could have circled back on ourselves, do you, and gotten lost? No, no, no. Ain't much daylight left, Charlie, and you said we'd sure find that water hole before sundown. That there uh, water hole has got to be within an hour's march of here, I'm telling you. You go back and tell the captain. And captain bring them soldiers of his up here right away. You sure, Charlie? Sure, no, of course I ain't sure. But I gotta act like I was. I gotta fool them soldiers into thinking, I'm sure. Because if just one man panics, it'll spread like wildfire. And we'll find ourselves a bunch of buzzard bait. You, you said you had faith in me, didn't you? Yes, sir, I do. Well, hang on to it, son. Hang on to it. Because that's all I got to hang on to myself. I'll tell him. No, when I find that there water, I'll fire three shots in the air. Yes, sir. Detail! Detail! All oh. move! Captain. Dismount. Dis! How? Captain. Just a little piece further. I made a mistake trusting him. I think it's time we admit it. Both of us, we're lost. You know it. Captain, you're wrong. With the captain's permission. Me and the men like the captain to tell us straight out how we stand. Captain. Man, you've got a right to know. It's Charlie. He found the water. Hey, Forward! 
What's wrong? That your water's been poisoned. See the animal over there? It was the same thing that happened to any of us that drinks this here water. We don't need a scout to find poison water for us. Sergeant? Yes, sir. Move the detail to that area up ahead. Make camp. Issue half rations of water to the men and the mules. None to the mounts. Detail. Forward. All right, Charlie. How far to the next water hole? It's about a day's march. But me or nobody else can say whether that water will be any more fitting to drink than this is. Can you find it? I found this one, didn't I? What do you think, Captain? We can make our water last another full day. We'll have to lose our mounts. The mules can keep going as long as they get some water. You gotta make the decision, Captain. If we turn around and go back, the men and the gold will be saved, but if you go on up ahead and that water is poison too, it'll be too late to turn back. There's nothing in my orders about turning back. Charlie will move out just before dawn while it's still cool. This one, too? That's what I'm gonna do, but They'll have to get suspicious. That don't make no difference. Besides, they can't never know just how it got done. Now, go on. Do like I told you. Start brushing out our tracks. Look, all we've been doing is riding around this miserable desert. Now, I say we stay here and finish off them soldiers. All I want is to split that gold. And I ain't got nothing so far but sunbaked. Where'd it go? I'll side with them. Now, them soldiers have got to come here. All we got to do is wait for them. But if you feel you'd rather not make the stand with us, you can clear out. No hard feelings. <laughs> no hard feelings, huh? Now, you listen to me. Every last one of you. There ain't one of you got a chance of leaving these salt flats alive less than I lead you. Now, where would you ambush eight men on flatlands like this? But up ahead, there's places where we can pull it off. Now, go on. Do like I told you. Stop brushing out our tracks. Sure. Test that water again. No need to, Cap. Kelly himself will prove I was right. You're you drunk, old sack! A billion loaded with so much poison now from liquor, you don't know what you're doing! You're keeping us away from this water! You don't. Ah! 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 Ah!
Sergeant, bring a canteen. We know you doing that, Captain. He can't swallow none no how. Move him over under the wagon, cover him with a blanket. There's four riders and one spare horse. All headed away from here, riding fast for the next water hole. And poison that one, too. Another thing, Captain. Only a scout would know his way around here like them bushwhackers are doing. A scout? Might have to be Cutter. Go ahead while we still have some water left and try to fight our way through. Uh, Captain. Captain, there's rocks around that uh, water hole. Best place in the world for an ambush. They'd, they'd pick us off before we ever seen them. We're not going to stay here and die now without a fight. You got an idea better than that? Yeah. If they are still at that water hole, that water will be good until after they finish us off. That makes sense, Charlie. Go on. <laughs> yeah, but we got to make sure they are still there. So when the moon sets, I'll start out, see? I should make it in oh, an hour or two. No, Charlie, no. I'll go with some of my men. Sergeant, you and Johnson will go with me. Corporal? No, Captain. I'm... Uh, I'm a scout. I can do a better job alone. All right, Charlie. But after you get there, what then? Well, if they ain't there, and the water is still good, I'll fire three shots. Oh. Well, Cutter may have heard that signal before. So this time, I'll fire three shots. Wait a while, then fire two more. And, Captain, when you hear them five shots, you come a-running. And if I don't hear the five shots? If you don't hear them, you head due north. Four smarts, traveling by night. Now, with any luck, you ought to make the highlands and water in about two days. Of course, the uh, <laughs> Cheyennes might be there, too. But then maybe, maybe it's better to be scalping the die of thirst, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Charlie. Oh. Thank you, Captain. Thank you. My horse. Charlie, when I promised to come along this deal, I'm in all the way. No, no, you've done enough for me already. I just ain't worth it. Can't you understand that? If you leave me here, I'll... I'll just tag along after you. Horse, you ain't a coming with me. Besides, I, I travel faster alone. Charlie, if I let you go out there alone, I'd feel guilty the rest of my life. That's better than being dead, ain't it? You know better than that. Yeah. Five shots, right, Captain? up there hiding in them there rocks. Well, I don't like it. It just, it just don't feel good. We're gonna have to take a chance on it anyhow. Let's go. All right, but you be careful, son. Charlie's gonna take you all day to make up your mind. Hold 
Now you them a happy pair of fools. <laughs> <laughs> Drink your fill, boys. Then we're going to have a nice long talk about my good friend, Captain Pender. <clears throat> Why don't them soldier boys come with you? How many of them are there left? I reckon that's something you're going to have to find out, mister. Well, that's something I'm just going to find out. Cut up! Hey, they're back in the other water hole. Charlie! There's, there's five of them. One of them died. They're waiting for my signal to come on ahead. Charlie! Captain Pender got any suspicion of me? No, of course not. <laughs> no, if... Suspicions, you don't suppose that me and the horse would have come walking in here the way we done, do you? No, I reckon not. Being the scout you once was. What's that signal? I ain't gonna tell you. You ain't gonna tell me. <laughs> hey, let it go. Fetch me my saddlebag. You ain't gonna tell me. Charlie, this ought to make you talk, huh? <laughs> it's all yours, Charlie. You just tell me what that signal is. <laughs> My, I bet you got mighty dry for this, too. Mmm, smell it, Charlie, huh? What's the signal now, huh? Don't you tell him, Charlie. Mmm, <laughs> that's too good to waste on you. But, <laughs> tastes good, huh? Yeah. What's the signal, Charlie? And it's all yours, every last bit of it. Signal, three, three. Louder, three. Charlie, louder. Three shots. Charlie, Charlie. Three uh, shots. The signal is three shots. And when, when Pettner hears them, they'll move out. And Gina's here. Three shots, just like before. But I want to make sure. Hey, just like before, huh? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, Buck, untie him. What about him? Eh, uh, untie him. He ain't going no place. Now, I'll give it to me. Here's your reward, Charlie. <laughs> is, it, is it all right, Oss? Yeah. I reckon you earned that one, Charlie. <laughs> this ought to bring him running like a flock of dumb sheep. Three. Go on, Charlie. Just fire two more times. Five shots, he said. He's trying to warn us. They ran into trouble. <laughs> we... We sure fooled him that time, didn't we, huh? <laughs> well, uh, Carter thought he was tormenting me into telling the truth. <laughs> and all the time, it was Carter himself that gave the signal for Panda to start moving north. <laughs> yep. They're going to find out in a minute. When they do, they'll have to be real mean, Charlie. Yeah, well, I... I you know... You know, it's a funny thing. I got plenty of this doggone stuff. I don't seem to want it. <laughs> you know, it kind of, uh, kind of burns me inside. Hey, Cutter! Cutter, look! Here they come! Three soldier boys. Only three. 
none of them penned it. He's a smart one. Maybe he figures I'm going behind this butte and having himself a look-see. Hey, Latigo, you get up among them rocks. Keep your eyes peeled. You let me know, but don't you do no shooting, you hear? Well, I... I guess the only reason I drink the doggone stuff is so that I can stop remembering that. I just don't understand it. That wasn't a signal for them to come up here. You see, Horace, years ago, I led a whole detachment of cavalry into a Kiowa trap. It was all butchered and they died cursing me. Wasn't your fault, Charlie. Yeah, that ain't good enough. Look, you keep watching that wagon. Morgan, you take those two and you keep them out of sight. I may need the old man later to weigh these on. You two get over behind those rocks. And don't try to let them know we're here. I'll break this gun barrel right over your heads. Stay low. No time at all now. We're going to be divvying up that gold. He must have spotted the others. Now, you stay here, Buck. No shooting till I start it. You be mighty careful how you go hitting them mules. Two of them coming from high up behind us. One of them's the captain. Well, that makes it easier for us. We'll just let them sneak up on us before we start shooting. Come on. We gotta do something else. We gotta shut up. Oh man, don't be so hoggy with that whiskey. Fill that cup. Sure. Bring it over here. Careful. Good work, Charlie. You go get Buck. I'm going after Cutter. I'm up there down there. And not giving it away. Let's get down to those four big rocks down there, see him? Yeah. I'll go first. Doggone it, I had him dead to rights. We got him pinned down now, we can blast him out of there easy. The water, the water's good, Captain. You can drink it. That's nah, just a crease, Charlie. Uh, Corporal! Corporal! Bring up the wagon! Get yourselves a drink! Let's 
Scott. Lead us out. So, sure, Captain. Big tail. Yeah. Forward. Forward. Ho! Oh.